Greetings, dear adventurers! Are you ready for a quest of customizing save and load screens in Redby? I'm ready. Well then, let's embark on this adventure together. To begin, open the mystical chess main to midges. Here you shall place the resources for your project. In this tutorial I shall deposit an enchanting backdrop, my very own sprite, and the frame for our precious saves and loads. The adventure begins. Open and screen scroll. It is there that the secrets of save and load screens are buried. To find the load and save screens comment, journey to line 573. You can also use CTRL plus F to swiftly reach this line by entering the term save. Before starting the modifications for the custom save load screens tutorial in Rempi, please remember to save your current project. Companions, the mysteries of save and load screens are within your grasp. They shall guide our quest of saving and loading. Observe closely. Both save and load screens utilize the same screen name screen file underscore slots. This screen lies just below. The file underscore slots screen contains all the elements necessary to display the save and load screens. A coding spell must be cast. Customize the screen file underscore slots. Your magical choices will transform the appearance of these screens. To start, I'll copy the following code block which includes a slot backdrop, a save screenshot, the date, time of the save, and the save name. I'll store this for later use. Once this code block is copied, I'll remove all content present within the screen file on the score slots. Begin by adding the backdrop in the sprite. Here is a backdrop for the save load screen and the sprite located at the bottom left with a zoom factor of 1.5. Of the box is created to organize elements vertically. The align and the align parameters done in horizontal and vertical alignment while spacing sets the gap between elements. In this customization step for the save load screens tutorial, I chose the custom IX pass and Y pass for a 1920 on 1080 project. This adjustment ensures that the background frame adapts properly. However, for frames with different backgrounds or without backgrounds, specifying dimensions might not be necessary. A two onto grid is created to display save slots, and a loop for each slot represented by I. A new frame is added with the customized frame background.
Now let's paste the code block regarding save information. For each slot, a button is created. It contains a slot backdrop, a save screenshot, the date, the time of the save, and the save name. Another frame is added containing a button to delete the save. Let's move on to mastering the navigation spells to access our saves and much more. Alright, see what we got here.
A frame is added at the bottom right to display page navigation buttons. Depending on the configuration, autosave and quick save buttons may appear as well as numbered page buttons. Interesting. Interesting. Turn button allowing the user to go back to the main menu. End. Our screens are now customized and ready for use. Congratulations for successfully completing this quest! Friends, you've journeyed through this adventure to the end. Until our next quest, may your code shine and your visual novels flourish without bounds. See you next time, everybody! Bye-bye! <laughs>